Aries, let's do your reading. Okay, so the first thing I have is receiving a lot of messages, especially at night, but not necessarily following your intuition. Fives are going to be significant. A lot of changes coming up for you. The information that you're receiving, you're kind of shying away from. Like you don't want to hear it. Once you start listening, though, you are going to move forward quickly. You may feel like you're stuck right now. You may feel like you're not moving forward, but you are. And then I have compass, but it's in reverse, like not moving forward. Afraid you're not going to move forward in the direction that you want to move forward in. Let's see what's happening in love. I have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then wedding. The wedding is in reverse. The situation involves marriage. So this is about you not listening to your intuition. Like you could be with this person. Or there's a person that you're meant to be with, but you're not listening to yourself. Tell me more about this. Okay, could be dealing with another Aries. Hold on. Okay, that was a Hierophant. So you could be dealing with another Aries. Okay, I have the Emperor and then the Hierophant. This person wants something very traditional with you. But like your... I'm getting pulled to the, the stone on the throne that they're sitting on. Like you're being too stubborn about something of the Ace of Wands, not feeling powerful. Okay, in the past, there may not have been equal give and take with this person. Of the Ace of Swords and also the Ace of Wands. Okay, this person wanting to come forward, take action towards you and also have a conversation with you. I have Six of Pentacles in reverse, though. This is about like a fear that it's not going to be that equal give and take that you desire. You may also have a fear of um, giving up your independence. Or also have a fear of getting attached. So the nine of pentacles and then the devil, I have to cover that up. But this person coming in is this king of pentacles. There's someone who is very stable and secure for you. You have this fear though, like if I give up my independence... Could be that masculine wound as well. If I give up my independence, then this person might not step forward, might not step up. But this King of Pentacles, so this could be an earth sign, could have earth placements. This King of Pentacles, though, is someone who is very stable and secure for you. Aries, you like to be in control. But I feel like you want to give up that control and have something um, traditional with this person. Could also be dealing with another fire sign. Yeah, I mean, this King of Pentacles, they have this Ten of Pentacles. 
They are stable. They are secure. They would take you from the nine of pentacles into this 10 of pentacles. Okay. And give you that security that you desire. Let's see what's blocking you. So I have renewal. Um, this is you going through and then enlightenment. This is you going through like this cycle of completion. This is the lessons that you came here to learn in this lifetime. You see how her crown is lit up? Okay, that's you expanding your own consciousness. Being open though for more information. You're not listening to everything that's coming to you. Again, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you can't move forward, but you are actually moving forward. I feel like that's just perception. Because you're not getting what you want, you feel like you're not moving forward. This is about setting very clear intentions on what you want your future to look like, to be like. This is prayer and then destiny. There's a specific destiny that's meant for you that you came here to live out, but you're not listening to that intuition. With the religious beliefs, it's like your own beliefs are preventing you from having everything that it is that you desire. I have a self-concept workshop on my, my website. Go and do the self-concept workshop. It'll help you identify the limiting beliefs that are holding you back from having everything that you desire. Tell me more about this, Destiny. I mean, you slide into this victim mentality with the eight of swords. Like nothing is working out for me. Woe is me. But it is actually working out for you. It's the way that you're viewing your situation. It's the way that you're looking at the situation. You have to take that blindfold off. The way that you're translating your own situation is what's holding you back. And then I have temperance. Really needing to temper your own energy, finding balance in your own emotions. I mean, Seven of Cups, you have so many opportunities, but you're looking out into the world like you, I don't have any opportunities because the, the door that you want to go through isn't open. You have all these other opportunities. You have other doors that you could walk through. Like indecision is a decision. So deciding to stay stuck is a decision. Deciding not to move forward is a decision. Like you're making that decision on your own. I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. I feel like that's... This is all a lesson in your own self-worth. Um, what you don't see coming. So this is about completion with the world here. Okay, you are going to close out this cycle. You need to stay in your Empress energy. Okay, this person's your counterpart. Again, you could be dealing with another Aries or an Earth sign. But you need to stay in your Empress energy, your feminine energy, that receptive mode. Allowing everything to flow to you. Stay out of your masculine energy. Um, that masculine wound is not, you're not trusting that the masculine is going to step in and take, take charge. An infinite supply 
you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And then sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Um, set very specific intentions on what it is that you desire and allow it to flow to you. Start listening to your intuition. I feel like when you wake up in the morning, you're getting a lot of information at night. When you wake up in the morning, you should be writing it down. Just keep your journal next to your bedside, like next to, next to your, um, or on your nightstand. And like, as soon as you wake up, pull out that journal, whatever, whatever you remember from the night before, write that down. All right. I love you guys. You got this.